Okay, guys, I think I'm live finally. Sorry about that. I'm starting about five minutes late. So hopefully you all got on. Um, I'll be able to see if you guys can get on. I had some technical difficulties with my phone, so I'm using my computer. So I had to kind of switch gears a little bit. I'm trying to get the lighting here. I'll give you a few minutes to pop on. I just want to do a quick Essential 101 class. I have a lot of you that have been messaging me, kind of wondering kind of what um, essential oils are. And so I thought I'd just do a basic 101 class. Um, it's going to be, um, I won't get into too depth on different oils and whatnot. Um, if you get on here, give me a comment so I know this is working. Hopefully I can see it on here. Um, so I'll just get started because you can go back and replay this at any time that you want to, once you get on. Just wanted to welcome you. I, uh, my name is Christy again from Christy's Health Essentials. And um, just a little bit about me. Um, I've got a master's degree in exercise physiology. Uh, my husband has a PhD in wellness and education, exercise wellness and education. So we've been pretty much um, in that area of fitness and health and wellness for many, many years, probably 20 plus years. Um, I am a mom of four kids. I've got two in college and a 17 year old and a 13 year old. So keep me very busy. We are just starting cross country season, which is awesome. And um, I just turned 50 in August, which is great. So I see a couple people on. Give me a comment if you can, um, if you're on, just so I know if you're hearing me okay. Um, anyways, we're going to take you through just a basic healthy um, oil essential class, kind of talk about um, some of the different oils, but as far as just the constituents that are in the oils, what we use them for, how we use them in safety. So first thing um, that I want to go through, I've got some notes over here, so I'll be glancing off here to the side a little bit. Um, so my goal for you at the end of this class is that you can just learn to have some different um, natural solutions to health issues or health things that come up in your life. Um, you kind of kind of have the modern medicine side and we also have the natural and we're all kind of going to the natural side. Um, there is a place for modern medicine. Um, I guess I'll kind of go into that, my why right now. So we have a daughter who has type 1 diabetes, and she was diagnosed a few years back. And so um, we were told in the hospital that either a chemical or some virus entered her body, which started the process of her having type 1 diabetes. And so over the last year, I've really been searching and racking my brain and wondering if the chemicals that we clean with, that we use on our skin, um, everything that we put on our bodies could have contributed to that. So obviously I don't think we'll ever know, which, um, but anyways, I've just really had this deep desire and this um, need to try to get rid of chemicals. So that's kind of where my oil journey started. I have since found um, how much, how therapeutic they are. I can use them for, um, fevers, for bug bites, for all kinds of things. And I'll share a little bit about how we're using that. So a um, couple things and let's see, I'm going to try to, I don't see, I see, see a few people on. I just don't see if there's any comments yet. So if you're on, give me a comment just so I know you can hear me. Okay. Um, so a couple things I want to go through. Um, I want you to ask yourself, what area of health do you want to be working on? So um, health is a, a well-rounded um, aspect you have physical health where you can with your exercise that kind of thing you've got spiritual health you've got emotional health and oils can help with a lot of those areas they help with um with emotional health for sure okay i'll talk about the aromatic compounds that you can the aromatic ways that you can use essential oils to work with anxiety sadness all kinds of things um and then how we can also use them topically so what are essential oils basic thing is that they are natural um, aromatic compounds that you find from plants. So in the stems, in the barks, in the leaves, in the flowers, in the roots, you can find that's where essential oils come from, okay? Um, so that's where they you get a lot of variety of benefits from those different essential oils and plants. Um, the things I want to teach you today, number one, is that they're natural, okay? Obviously, they... Um, you know, they've been used for years. The Egyptians, they have found essential oils in Egyptian tombs. Um, frankincense and myrrh were brought to baby Jesus. So these have been around a long time. They're not something brand new that just came up, although that's where you're hearing them more. It's is just more recently. Um, they're effective. If you go back to a biology 101 class where you have a cell and a cell membrane, um, the cell membrane is what protects the cell. So what's nice about essential oils is that cell membrane is oil-based. And so um, if you get a virus, 
which is a cold, right? You can't be on antibiotics. Nothing will penetrate that cell because um, antibiotics are water-based. But essential oils can penetrate that cell and start and help fight off um, the virus that you have. So essential oils can be used for that. Um, so they are very effective. Um, and they're also very safe. So depending on what kind of essential oils, there are four levels of safe or essential oils. So you have your, um, first of all, your synthetic oils, which are probably not something that I would ever um, use. They're probably not something you'd want to put on your bodies or ingest. You have your food essential oils, things that are, are food, um, that they put in food so that your gum tastes like peppermint or spearmint. And then you have therapeutic, which is an unregulated um, area. And then the last area, which is CPTG, which is a certified pure therapeutic grade um, essential oils. And those are what doTERRA has. So doTERRA has kind of taken the level of essential oils and they are at the top of the game. And so um, they do strict, strict third party testing on all of their essential oils. Um, what I love about them is their co-impact sourcing. So what that means is that if they're going to have lavender, when you get a bottle of lavender, okay, so there's a bottle here, okay, oops, lavender wrong way, okay, this lavender is actually, um, I think I wrote it down here, harvested, if I remember right, in, um, the high altitudes of France and Bulgaria, okay? So you are not going to just, they're not just going to plant some lavender seeds and grow them here in the United States. They're going to actually go to where that plant um, is harvested best, where it grows the best, okay? And that's why it's going to be so therapeutic. It's going to be 100% pure. So um, like I said, doTERRA is, is very strict on all of their testing. Um, I will link up a website on this. It's called source to you and it's an amazing website. It shows um, the strict, strict testing that doTERRA oils come from. So if you, anymore, you can buy essential oils. You can buy them at Walmart, grocery stores, um, health food stores. Sometimes you can buy them in a gas station. Um, those oils are not going to be therapeutic grade. Okay, those are not oils that you're going to be able to put on or ingest because they're not certified pure therapeutic grade oils. Okay, doTERRA has taken that to the next level. That's why I feel completely safe ingesting them. Um, certain oils, you can ingest all of them. You can also put them on your babies. Okay, I can get lavender. It's a very, very gentle oil. And if I mix this with a little fractionated coconut oil, rub it on the baby's bottom of their feet, um, something that they need to calm down, I would feel absolutely safe using this one. Lavender that I bought at 7-Eleven, I would not do that. I would never feel safe doing that. Um, so again, some of the oils that they harvest, lemon comes from Italy, okay? Melaleuca comes from Australia. Lavender, again, was from France and Bulgaria, and frankincense, which is what we call the king of all oils, is actually harvested in the Middle East. So we take, um, like I said, doTERRA goes and they work with um, the farmers of those countries to harvest those oils. So it's called co-impact sourcing, and what's great is that it stimulates the economy and gives those farmers and those growers jobs and sustainable income. So that's another reason I love the doTERRA oils, okay? Um, let me see if I'm missing anything there again the source to you um what i love also and i actually just did this the other day um just because i wanted to see um doTERRA oils each one of them has on the bottom i don't know if you can see up there has a little code okay i can type this code in on the source to you website okay which is a third party testing and it will tell me when this was harvested okay it will tell me the main constituents that are in here okay and for lemon um Oh, this is the on guard. I think for the lemon, it's um, lemoline, I think is what they call it. Okay, so I can look and I can look this up on the source to you and I know exactly where this was harvested, when it was harvested. It will tell me all of the different constituents, which are all the different compounds that are in this oil, this particular bottle. And I know exactly what's in there. And there are not any other essential oil company that's doing that. Okay, so that's something that's really good. And every one of these, here's peppermint. You could look up the number type in that number on source to you, okay? And you would find menthol is probably the highest constituents here for the peppermint, okay? Because it's very, very high in menthol, okay? Um, three ways that you can um, use, I'm not seeing any comments. So if you are on, I don't know if my, 
the comments are not working, but if you're on, just shoot me a comment. Let me know that you can hear me or where you're from. Got a couple people on. Um, there's three ways you can use oils, okay? The first one, very simple one, is aromatic, okay? Aromatic, you might just be doing, you could do something simple, okay? You could take a drop of your peppermint, put it in your hand, okay? Rub it together, and you can just breathe it in. You can just smell it auto automatically. It's going to open up the airways, okay? Peppermint is a very strong oil, okay, in that way. Um, you can also have a diffuser, okay? I got a diffuser with my first kit with doTERRA. Um, since then, I have ordered probably three other ones um, online, just on Amazon. It doesn't have to be doTERRA, but it was in my kit. Um, this is my favorite diffuser here. It's the limo diffuser. I have this going in our home, in our family room, at all times. Um, that's the first way that you can use essential oils is just for the aromatic, okay? It can change your mood. It can clean the air, improves your immunity. Um, the second way that you can use essential oils is topically. So um, that would be if you want to see a real localized benefit, okay? So for instance, um, peppermint, very, very cooling. So if your little one has a fever, okay, instead of reaching for Motrin or Tylenol or whatever, you can take a little peppermint, mix it with some oil, and you can rub it on the back of their neck, down their spine, um, you know, just on the bottoms of their feet, and it will immediately cool them off. Okay, so topically is a great way. I use a lot of the oils topically. I love the deep blue oil um, for muscle, any muscle ache, aches or joints. I have the deep blue oil. I also have the deep blue rub, which is just a real convenient way to put it on there. Um, and when you're putting on oils, there are certain oils that are super, super, um, we want to, we call them neat, you know, very, very easy. Lavender is one of them. That one I can put on like, right just without any dilution because it's a very gentle oil um, if i'm going to use oregano or strong what we call a hot oil you're going to want to dilute that okay it's gonna it's gonna hurt so you would use some fractionated coconut oil um doTERRA has a great one i got my first one in my first kit with them um, since then i've i've ordered this online i have literally had this bottle probably since March, I want to say, and I'm still not out of it. It's a therapeutic grade fractionated coconut oil. And that is what you'd want to dilute that oil with before you would put it on your skin. Uh, skin excuse me. Um, also, if you use the oil or the fractionated coconut oil, it really helps it just to um, work its way into the skin a little better. It also helps it not to evaporate as fast. So if I always say dilute. Again, there's certain oils that you could um, get away with just putting them directly on your skin without dilution. Um, but if you're ever in doubt, dilute. It's not going to hurt. It'll help it actually absorb in the skin a little better. Um, and just a, a helpful tint, a hint here, um, actually the bottoms of your feet is a great place to start putting oils. If you've never done it and you're not sure if you're sensitive, put them on the bottoms of your feet because what that's gonna do, um, you have the largest pores on the bottom of your feet. Okay, so you're gonna absorb it, but you're less sensitive there as well. So if there's any sensitivity, you would know that. Okay, so bottom of the feet is the best way. Um, I put my sleep, my little sleep magic, I think rollerball, um, and I don't have it here, it's by my bed. And I put that on the bottom of my feet and I put it on my wrists at bedtime and I just kind of breathe it in a little bit. And like I said, I've been sleeping great with that. Um, you can also take certain essential oils internally. So doTERRA, I have um, complete, complete um, trust that the essential oils that I use internally are not gonna hurt me. I've been doing this for months and months. Um, and not all oils are, are for internal use. So you'd want to look at the oil. Like Deep Blue is not an in for internal use, and it would tell you that on the bottle. There's going to be no supplementation facts on there. Um, but internally is a really good way to use oils if you want to get, um, I guess, a better um, reaction to something. So um, let me see what I put on here for internal. Um, um, oh, yeah, just check your labels for safety and consumption. I drink oils in my water every day. Where's my, here's my bottle here. Always use stainless steel, by the way. Okay, stainless steel bottle or a glass bottle. This is about 16, 20 ounces. And you can put one drop of essential oil into four ounces of water. So every morning, first thing I do when I wake up, okay, I'll put in about four to five drops of lemon. Sometimes I'll use lime, tangerine, um, um, 
uh, what's the other one? Oh, wild orange. Okay, whatever I want to do, but mostly lemon in here, and I'll drink that, and it's delicious. It's a very cleansing oil. Um, so that's what I use internally. Um, other things that we use internally, at least in our home, um, Miles has, um, my husband has three autoimmune issues, so we're working on that. And so he does frankincense, and he takes frankincense, and it's probably not the best tasting oil of all, like lemon is great, but frankincense, not so much. I don't mind it. So he will put this in a veggie cap. doTERRA has a great veggie cap, and he'll take about two to three drops, two to three times a day, depending on if he, if he remembers. Um, and frankincense, like I said, is super good for immunity. So if you have any autoimmune issues, this would be one that you definitely should try. Um, some of the other oils that are really good, um, like I said, lavender, you can put that. Again, some people don't like the taste of it, but it's a very calming oil. So some people do this before bed, put it in their water, they drink it in their water. So that's the third way. Again, remember there is aromatic ways to use essential oils. Um, you can also use them topically and then also internally. Um, so also one tip, okay? So when we talk about, um, like my daughter with type 1 diabetes, um, if there weren't insulin, she would not be alive today, okay? So insulin for her is, is a modern medicine um, drug that she's gonna have to have the rest of her life until there's a cure, okay? So, however, okay, there's times where she has leg pains, okay? I don't have to go get a Tylenol anymore or a Motrin, which is what we used to do all the time, okay? Now I reach for my deep blue rub, okay? She actually begs for this, and I rub this on her legs, massage them in, and within five to 10 minutes, her leg pains are gone. Like she will come down asking for the deep blue. She's laying in bed. That's usually when she gets her growing pains, okay? She'll have a week or two sprout where it just hurts every night, and then she'll be over it. But um, again, I'm not using medication anymore to deal with that where I can just reach for my deep blue. I could also just use the deep blue oil, which would be great. And I've done that before when I ran out of my rub, little fractionated coconut oil, rub it in her legs, and it helps, okay? So one thing, if one oil doesn't work, try another. Just like certain medications work on different people in different ways, there are some oils that work on me differently than they would work on Anna or one of my other kids. So sometimes people will try an oil and maybe it doesn't work the first time, so they get frustrated and say, oh, essential oils don't work. So my, my suggestion always is, is to try a different oil, okay? The oils are different. I will tell you, um, peppermint, I've used that internally for any kind of stomach upset, okay? I did find out one night, though, I did take this close to bedtime, okay? I cannot take peppermint close to bedtime, okay, internally. I was pretty awake that night, okay? But I did learn if I'm really tired in the morning and I need to get going, if I put a little drop of peppermint in my coffee or my water in the morning, it just wakes me up, okay? So um, so those are the three things I just wanted to say. Be patient, just like you would with any kind of medication or over-the-counter medication. Um, always, you know, don't get frustrated if an oil doesn't work the way you want to. Um, and always start small. You can always increase. So you might just want to put, you know, a couple drops with some fractionated coconut oil. If you were gonna apply it topically, it doesn't do a lot, you could always use a couple extra drops. And we'll talk later about dilution. Um, I wanna kinda of get into some of the top 10 oils that they have that have, are in most of the kits, okay? I've expanded, I have a lot more than the top 10 oils, but I'm gonna go through those first because those are the, the most common, most used ones. The first one is lemon. Okay, we won't take a lot of time on these, okay? So lemon first, it's very cleansing oil, okay? It freshens. This will elevate your mood. Um, if you have a sore throat, you can put this in with some honey. It'll soothe your sore throat. Um, it cleans surfaces. I use this in almost all of my homemade cleaning um, supplies. Here's an all-purpose cleaner, okay? I'll link up maybe some things on this. Um, that I use and I mix up. I'll put some different oils in there, but I no longer have to buy chemicals or anything because I clean with them. But lemon is something I use all the time. In fact, this one is empty. I've run out, so I need to wait for my next one. Um, again, I drink this. I put this in my water every single morning, okay? So that's lemon. Um, so it's very cleansing. Let's go to the king of all oils, and we just talked about that, and that is frankincense. 
okay? This one is a more expensive oil, okay? This one is great for immunity, immunity boosting, okay? It induces feelings of peace. It definitely supports the immune function, immune system. So again, if you were somebody who had some autoimmune issues, um, frankincense would be definitely something that would be good for you to use. And like I said, I have Miles taking this probably um, three times a day when he remembers in a veggie cap. Um, Anti-aging promotes healthy cellular function um, and just a little bit, um, I guess, of a, a good story here. So he had, had had some blood work done about three, four months ago. He's with, um, and some of his white blood cell counts and related to his rheumatoid arthritis, as well as I believe it was the platelets were really low. And so she wanted him to kind of go for three months. She had a medication she thought he could start. He didn't want to do that. So that's kind of when I got busy and I looked it up and I was looking up autoimmune and rheumatoid arthritis. And it talked about um, frankincense as well as copaiba. So um, he just had his blood work done again just a week or two ago. And happy to say, again, he's taking a lifelong vitality pack. He's taken the frankincense and his um, blood work has is everything is in normal range. So his white blood cell count is back up again. Um, and that's really the only thing different we did. Okay, we didn't, we started taking, having him take lifelong vitality. I've talked about that before. And we started with the frankincense and the copaiba two to three times a day. And platelets are up, white blood cell count is up. He'll retest again in three months. So we were pleasantly surprised. We were hoping that that would be the case. And um, that's the case. Um, our next oil that I want to talk about quickly is lavender. I gave one of these away in a giveaway not too long ago. I think Michelle Anderson had gotten this one. And lavender is a super gentle oil. Like I said, this one is great for babies even. Um, it will soothe any skin irritation you might have. So bug bites, okay, this is great for burns. If you have a, a daughter, teenage daughter, if she gets a curling iron burn of any sort, you're gonna reach for lavender and you can put that directly on the burn. You do not need to dilute this. Um, it can, if you take it internally, it promotes relaxation, helps you sleep, eases um, lots of feelings of, um, eases feelings of tension, okay? So the next one is Melaleuca. Melaleuca is great, very antibacterial. It minimizes skin um, imperfections such as acne. Okay, if you have a teenage daughter, I made a roller bottle for, um, for Anna, a little fractionated coconut oil. And when I talk about a roller bottle, let me show you what I mean. It looks like this, and I will, I'm gonna do a class on this. Looks like this, okay, with some Melaleuca in it, and she can rub that on any um, little pimples that come up, and it works amazing. If you have a little one, if you have somebody with ear infections or ear discomfort, this is your go-to oil, okay? Take this and you could rub it around the ear, never in the ear, okay? You can gently massage it around and this will usually help you not have to take your baby or infant or a toddler into the doctor for antibiotics. So Melaleuca is a go-to oil on that. Um, you can apply, it's good for toenails, it's good for fungus, it's good for any ear issues, any kind of immune system. So very, very good oil. Um, I want to talk a little bit about On Guard. I'm out of this one again. Guys, I've been using my oils a lot, okay? I love the smell of On Guard, okay? It's a very kind of a real fall, very cinnamony smell. So especially this fall and winter, I've been diffusing this almost every day now that the kids are back in school. It's very cleansing. It'll combat, help your body fight off any threats. Um, I diffuse this every day. It works with the body on a cellular level. So some of the ingredients in here, I'm gonna put my reader glasses on here because I can't uh, read small enough. There's wild orange and clove and cinnamon and rosemary, eucalyptus leaf. So it just, it smells delicious. It smells beautiful. I diffuse this almost all the time, especially when school starts, but in, in the winter as well, just it's got that Christmas smell to it. Um, again, this would be something too, you could put on your kids' bottoms of your feet. You know, if you have a kid that went to school and you hear that the flu or something's going around, you can be putting this on the bottom of the feet, okay? I take this internally, so as soon as I know somebody in our family has come down with something, I'll start putting this in a veggie cap and taking it internally. I do not give Anna oils internally. I mean, you don't wanna give oils to kids internally um, until they're a little older. Matthew is 17, I would be completely fine 
um, having him take oils internally. Okay, because it's, but again, it's more for adults. But again, I will roll this on the bottom of Anna's feet if I feel like she needs that extra immune support, okay, to help ward off any, any bad germs that are going around. Um, Digestin, this is a great oil as well. Okay, anytime you have digestive issues, I'm gonna reach for the digestin. If you have a little little one, you can roll this on um, their bellies. Again, probably diluted with some fractionated coconut oil. I can I take this internally. Okay, so if I have a little stomach upset, um, works for gas, bloating, it's amazing. If this is an oil you're gonna want to have. Okay, um, you can add it to water or tea. You can just put it in your water if you don't like the taste. Again, you can put it in a veggie cap. And I didn't bring my veggie caps up here. Um, but anyways, you could do that. You could put that in a veggie cap and swallow that, and that would also help with great with digestion. Digestion um, helps with motion sickness and nausea. Okay, another good one for nausea um, is peppermint. Okay, I had a friend that just tried this. She tried the digestion. It didn't quite kick it. Put the peppermint in some water, and immediately her nausea, her stomach was much much better. So digestion, though everything digestive. Okay, that's what that would be for. And again, these are all in the top, the top 10 oils are in um, Home Essentials Kit as well as the Family Essentials Kit. Um, let's talk about oregano. Okay, oregano is a powerhouse oil. Okay, this is a hot oil. This is not an oil that you're going to want to drink, okay, or put on your skin without dilution because it's that strong, okay. Oregano, um, it's very powerful cleansing. If I am getting sick, I am putting this in a veggie cap with some other oils a couple times a day. Um, this is in my immune bomb roller that I will put on Anna's feet as well. Um, it, it supports a healthy immune system, healthy digestion, respiratory function. It has super, super powerful antioxidants in here when ingested, okay? Again, you'd want to put this in a veggie cap. You're not going to want to put this in your water and just drink it outright, okay? But anytime you're getting sick, I've got a recipe for immune bomb roller, and this is one of the oils that are in there. Um, and maybe I have that in here. I don't, oh, here it is, Immune Bomb, okay? So I even labeled it Immune Bomb, okay? So the, uh, if I remember right, I'm gonna try to remember, it's got Melaleuca, it's got the On Guard, it's got Oregano, there's five oils that are in it, I may forget a couple. Um, those are the three I remember right now, maybe Lemon, now Lemon's probably the fourth, I don't, I'm not sure if I see the fifth one. Um, so that's in my Immune Bomb, but Oregano is the first, I don't use this a lot, okay? You can also cook with this. Okay, so these oils you can cook with. Okay, you can take this internally. So if you're gonna put oregano in some spaghetti sauce, okay, any, any recipe that calls for oregano, you can use oregano, okay? Again, you're gonna use so little. These are 15 milliliter bottles, which means there's 250 drops in each one. If I would put this in my spaghetti sauce, I would probably use a toothpick. That's how strong this is. I'd put a little oil on a toothpick and I would stir it into the spaghetti sauce and um, it, you can taste it. Okay, so that's how strong. You don't need much of this oil, okay? Again, taking this for immune support. If you are coming down with something, you're gonna wanna put oregano. Um, the next one, quickly, we talked about peppermint. I don't know if I'm gonna say much more on that one, okay? When ingested, that can support a res healthy respiratory function, clear breathing. If you are, if you are stuffed up here in your sinuses, you're dealing with a cold, okay? Peppermint. You're going to want to diffuse this. You're going to breathe this in. If you put this in a cup of tea, okay, and one drop, again, one drop of peppermint is equivalent to about 20, I've heard two things, 25 or 28 cups of peppermint tea. So that's how strong, okay? You need one drop only, okay? And you put this in some tea, you breathe it in, you drink it, and like I said, it's really going to help clear you up. Um, it also helps with digestive issues, and also peppermint is great for repelling bugs. So I don't know if you knew that. A lot of these oils are great for repelling bugs. I believe peppermint is used for ants. So you have an ant issue, okay? Put this in, um, a little sprayer bottle. Get these little ones here that I've made, okay? And you can spray it around a little area of your house, okay? Completely safe, okay? You don't have to worry about spraying chemicals. And those ants are not going to come in, okay? So it repels ants for sure, probably some other drugs or uh, other bugs, not drugs. Um, let's go to the next one. Let me know if you guys have any questions at all. I'm not seeing any comments. I don't know if my comment thing is not working or not. So I'll just not sure. Um, Let's go to breathe. Same thing. If you deal with allergies, especially seasonal allergies, 
Breathe is in that top, ten, one of the top 10 oils. Okay, that is, it says respiratory blend right there. It is gonna really help open up your airways. Okay, again, breathe is not one you're gonna take internally. And so again, read your labels. So you would just, you'll read on here, the main ingredients here you're gonna have is eucalyptus, peppermint, melaleuca, lemon, cardamom, um, a couple oils that I can't even pronounce on here, is that cinnamon maybe? And it'll say for aromatic or topical use, diffuse. Um, again, you're not gonna wanna take this one internally. Breathe is not an oil that you would take internally for safety. Okay, so breathe also opens airways, minimizes snoring. If you have snoring, you could try the breathe, diffusing that next to your bed, um, supports a restful sleep. Um, and then also, I think those are all of the top 10 oils. I think I've hit on all of those. Um, there is a couple oils that I just thought I'd mention. They are not in the top 10 kit. Again, you can always add those on, maybe on your loyal to reward program order later on. One of those is the my sleep, my sleep magic, which I've been sleeping amazing, and that is serenity and balance. Um, I love the smell of balance. Balance is a beautiful blend, and that is what I use in my rollerball. It's also what I put in my diffuser next to my bed to help me sleep, and it's amazing. Okay, serenity is amazing. Um, and so balance also is, is your grounding blend. And I'm just, like I said, I'm just going to mention that one just because it's probably one of my top favorite, most used oils on the balance. Um, so anyways, let me know if you have any questions. I am not, like I said, I, my computer is not um, working. I'm not seeing any comments on here. So if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll be happy to answer those or you can get back to me or message me later on. Um, and real quick, just wanted to mention a couple things. So, you know, with my Christie's Health Essentials um, page, I'm also just really trying to encourage people to get out and exercise. I think exercise is probably one of the best medicines there is. Oil, my oils and all of those help support what I'm doing. Um, and also just wanted to mention here, I have our old, what I call this, my old medicine cabinet, okay? This is my new medicine cabinet, all my oils, because this is all we use, okay? If we have head tension, a headache, we are using our head, um, I think it's right here, my head tension rollerball that I made, which has got peppermint and coconut oil. We're using that, okay? Rubbing that on our forehead, on your temples, on the back of your neck for head tension, headaches. Um, all of these are things that I no longer have to buy, okay? Because I have everything in my hands. I have everything. Hydrocortisone cream, okay? No longer need to use that. We don't buy that, okay? Um, um, I have here, I don't know if I brought it up here. Okay, I have a um, itch stick. Okay, I just, and actually Marie and I got bite, bug bites at her first cross country meetup in Wyoming. We didn't get a lot, we just got a couple. We didn't bring any of our, my Terra Shield. And I've been made, putting that itch stick on and it helps. And my itch stick has lemon, lavender, peppermint. peppermint. So again, I don't need to buy hydrocortisone cream anymore because I can make my itch stick. I can make it, I can make me one and I can make one for her and send it with her. Um, I don't need to buy clear cell, okay, for pimples, okay, because I can make my acne one, and I believe I have that one as well here, I call it Bye Bye Pimple, you can tell it's been used a little bit, okay, that has your melaleuca in it, okay, and I've got recipes for all of these, antibiotic cream, okay, I no longer have to buy this, triple antibiotic cream, don't have to buy that, I make my own wound care spray, which is amazing, has really helped my mother with, with some skin issues that she's been having, okay, so these are things that you can have, it'll be like your second medicine cabinet, you don't need to buy other things, cleaners, I don't buy cleaners anymore. Um, I make my own cleaners. I've got no chemicals in there. Um, I have all-purpose cleaners. doTERRA has a great um, on-guard concentrate if you don't want to be making your own, but these are super easy. Vinegar, um, water. Um, I usually put in some melaleuca because the antibacterial properties. Lemon. I'll sometimes mix up some different oils. If I, I like the smell of peppermint. Sometimes I'll put peppermint in it. I like the smell of eucalyptus. I'll put eucalyptus in there. So you can kind of, um, I have basic recipes. 